Crafty Purple Dragon channel. Uh, I've got something a little bit different again today, not diamond painting related, so if you wanted to see a diamond painting unboxing, that's not what this is, but it's something similar. Um, you may have seen my unboxing the other day where I unboxed the Mosaic Craft uh, picture which I bought because I thought it's similar to diamond painting but a little bit different um, so you know just something to add a little bit of variety maybe and that's the same with this uh, it's kind of similar but a little bit different so let's have a look Careful, shouldn't have the knife coming towards me. Safety. Whoops, that came out of the groove. Oh shit, what was I just saying? Nearly sliced my arm. Uh, can't get it to go under the. Right, let's. Ah! Before I kill myself. Now I can lift it up. There we go, there we go. Right, okay. So, I don't know if any of you have come across this before. I haven't. At least I don't have any sort of conscious memory of ever having seen it. Until I saw it when I was mooching around Amazon. I didn't buy this from Amazon, I bought this direct from the website. Uh, so let's get into it. I shall remove that invoice or whatever it is. And here it is. Dun, dun, dun. Sequin art it is. Whee! And I got this little insert. Thank you for shopping with Sequin Art. We're always here to help get in contact via our website or on social media. So they've got a Facebook, YouTube, Twitter, Instagram, and Pinterest. And you can ask any questions by joining the community, or you can email them direct and they do lots of other kits uh, I got this one because it's a German Shepherd and that's what my dog is uh, this is the German Shepherd from their blue range <laughs> um, the code for this is 1807 now in terms of Relating it to diamond paintings, I've called it a partial because you don't sequin the whole area, you just sequin the, the dog. Uh, as you can see, that's the area that you're going to put sequins on, and then the background stays as it is. And um, the dimensions of it are 28 by 37 by 4 centimeters so there's a depth on this and I ordered it from sequinart.com on the 19th of March it was dispatched the same day and it arrived with me on the 21st of March and it cost me 14.99 including shipping So let's have a look what's in the box. Uh, now today is a Thursday and I would usually have another day to do stuff craft related but my husband's coming home early this weekend, so I've got to pack up today. 
which is annoying but not because <laughs> I'm glad to see him but it does interfere with me doing stuff because uh, right, otherwise I might have had a go at this but I'm gonna have to not because I won't have time but oh just drop some sequins on the floor okay so box open bags of sequins oh my god big bag of pins right let me just try and rescue these sequins from the floor area Where are they? now do we get any kind of inventory sheet um Oh, so it's polystyrene. Okay. Right. So the depth re relates to the depth of the polystyrene board. Uh, and this is the template, I suppose. Now it looks like it's sticky, so I guess you stick it on there. And I'm going to go over that with a lint roller because that's going to annoy me. And then this is the pattern. And these are the instructions. So obviously you've got the dots on the thing but you need to know which colours you're putting on which dots. So that's the plan and this is the key uh, and the instructions, oh that's a bit unfortunate, a bit of a waste of paper. Would they not have double sided that? Onto one sheet of A4. Thinking of the environment and all that. So this looks like it's originally maybe a German company. Because this, all this information down here is in German and... I mean this is the German section. It doesn't matter. Right, let's have a read of the instructions. Sequin art instructions. So, and there's a little bit of a inventory sheet here. Now then, it's got numbers, but the bags are not numbered. So, you best not be colour blind, folks. Otherwise, you're not going to be able to ascertain which is... Which colour are you? I mean, come on, let's put the numbers on the bags, for God's sake. Silver. Doesn't tell me how many of each I need. So you've got to presume that you've got enough. Silver. Pale gold. Is that that? Red. Orange black, pale pink, gold, pearl, that's those, ice blue, Oh, there they are. Nice blue. Oops. Hold on. Gold pearl. Ice blue. Ochre. Is that those? Brown. And cerise. Yeah. A, a note on improvement, guys. Number your bags and tell us how many we should have. And how many is in the bag? That would be helpful. Um, because people who, you know, aren't... Maybe who have... I don't know, I'm not colour blind. So I'm talking out my what's it really. 
I don't know what I'm talking about but I would assume that if you've got some kind of colour blind problem the reliance on you identifying the colours yourself might be a bit of an issue it doesn't tell me that I've also got a massive bag of pins which I have a massive bag of pins Sequin art instructions choose a flat surface and spread out your materials place the front of the box and colour guide next beside you to see the shapes and colours of your picture Place the backing sheet in the polystyrene frame so that it neatly fits inside the edges and pin each corner to hold it in place. Oh, so it's not sticky then, is it not? I thought it was sticky. No, not. So you have to put a pin in each corner to, to hold it in place. You will see that the backing sheet is printed with dots. Now, are they just dots? They're not little numbers or anything. I mean, if they are little numbers, they're really little and I can't see them. Well, they've... Again, they've given numbers there, but they haven't given numbers on the bag, so... These show you where to place the sequins. Choose a colour and begin creating your picture by placing a pin through the hole in the middle of the sequin and into the dot on the backing sheet. Use the colour guide to show you where to put each sequin. If you make a mistake, it's easy to correct. Just pull out the pin and change or move the sequin. Have fun. Work colours in any order you like. Warning, not suitable for children under 36 months due to small parts and functional sharp points, pins, choking and puncture hazard. And then just a little bit of a sort of addendum to the instructions down here. It says, use sequin cup side up. So when you put in the, I don't want to open the bags and they end up everywhere, but obviously if you know, you know what sequins look like, they're kind of uh, cup shaped, <laughs> you know, they've got a, uh, they're a little tiny bowl, aren't they? So what they're saying is cup side up. So you put the pin in with the bottom of the bowl, if you imagine it's a tiny bowl, with the bottom of the bowl shape on the picture. And I think... I don't know that it's that clear from... Yeah, kind of. On that close-up picture, you can just about see, maybe, that the sequins are, you know, as if you were to put a bowl down on a flat surface, the right way around. The base of the bowl is on the picture. So, that's that. Some, again, like I said, something a little bit different. Shouldn't take too long to do, I wouldn't have thought. Not like that mosaic craft thing that I've got. Wow. I'll just show you the colours because I didn't really show you those. Too close. Black. So, you know, if you get into the point where you're feeling a bit burnt out with diamond painting and you want something a little bit different but similar, you know, you might want to give it a go. When I start doing it, I will do a little bit of a, a video so you can have a laugh at me trying to do it. 
But for now, thanks very much for joining me. I hope you have a lovely day. If you enjoyed the video, please leave a like. If you haven't already, please subscribe and click the notification bell so that you're notified when I release videos. Thanks very much for coming. Take care. Bye.